now we are doing exercise 1.2 question number 5 roman number 2 represent the following number on the number line the question is represent the following number on the number line and it is roman number 2 which is the question is root 7 so similar to the first i hope you've seen the first one similar to the first one we can write 7 can be written as 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 okay i can write on 7 as 4 plus 1 plus 1 why am i writing why am i not writing 5 plus 2 5 plus 2 also 7 but why am i not writing like that because 5 is not a perfect square there is not a single number which square is 5 i need a number which square is 5 even 2 also is not a square number none of the number which square will be equal to 2 okay that's why i'm taking 4 1 1 1 why because 4 is i can write 4 as 2 square i can write 1 as 1 square again 1 as 1 square and 1 as 1 square i can write down like this that's why i'm taking 7 uh, 7 square to 4 plus 1 plus 1 now we need to draw graph or uh, we need to draw number line so what shall we do let us take a line let me take a line so here comes our line now like before let me draw small small points one two three like this you use equal measures you can take your scale and do but this line must be equal i hope you are getting the point and i can take like this it's not equal space so now after that i can take this as zero one two three four five six seven eight then whatever you want okay you can take like this let me take let me this one let me make it let me shift it a little bit downside so that i'll have more space okay now like before similar to the previous one what we will do is we'll take the number two this two first okay you can take any number you can start with one also doesn't matter but we can start with two we can prefer two so from zero to two draw a line okay from 0 to 2 let us draw a line okay this much after that since 1 is there you draw you use a protector you use a protector and draw from here please draw a line wait okay let me align little bit this one mm, little bit just a moment okay now what we are going to do is we're going to take these two and these two we are going to represent here first first these two units okay first you take two you can take one also doesn't matter you can take the second one also but i'm taking two after that after that one is there right second number is one so take this one same but the angle must be exactly 90 degrees so take protector and angle must be 90 degree okay i hope you know how to use protector and draw one one means how much you have taken before no how much you have taken from here to here what is the distance from here to here same thing you take from two upside and it must be 90 degrees so use a protector and draw 90 degree i cannot use protector here that's why that's a bit problem with me but you can you can please do that after that after that join this line and this line okay the beginning point and end point and you can name this you can name this as a let me name it properly we can name this as this can be a this can be b this can be c a b c right now as the name already given a b c this is how much two this is how much one 2 1 right 
now i have no space for my pythagoras theorem so what shall i do is i'll take a box here okay just to represent mine this one you write down downside or wherever you have space but i'll just try doing here my calculation so in triangle abc what am i going to do is in triangle a b c what will be it so in triangle abc ac square will be equal to this ac square will be equal to ab square plus bc square in triangle abc you are using pythagoras theorem in triangle abc using pythagoras theorem okay in triangle abc you are using pythagoras theorem so ab is how much 2 square plus bc is how much 1 square so ac ac will be equal, equal to square will go this side and become root 2 square is 4 plus 1 4 plus 1 is root over 5 but the question is asking us to 0.7 still we have we have this second number one still right so what we can do is let me change the color of my pen so that now from here this c from point c from this point c okay you draw another line from this point c you are going to draw another line and this another line you are going to use protector and draw and draw it perpendicular again i don't have protector here so i'm just drawing by my own a little bit perpendicular and the distance must be one unit again okay make sure that the distance which you are drawing here is one unit okay this much yeah please ignore the sound this is too noisy outside okay now i can join this line and this line again okay this much now i got with calculation i got ac to be root 5 my calculation says my ac is how much root 5 now c let me ac and this let me name it as d now so ac is root 5 cd is 1 okay so using pythagoras theorem again so using pythagoras theorem in triangle a c d in triangle a c d i am using pythagoras theorem again so a d square will be equal to a c square plus c d square what is a c here a c is root 5 a c is root 5 right root 5 square plus c d how much 1 square so a d will be equal to root will come this side it will become square will come this side and become root square and root cancel for 5 it will be 5 plus 1 6 i hope little bit you may find little bit confusing here okay but don't worry it will be clear to you if you go through once similarly similarly now we got ads root 6 but question is asking us root 7 still we have one more okay so what you are going to do is take one more line what you're going to do is take one more line and from this line from this line so you are going to take one more line and from this you are going to draw another perpendicular line and after drawing another perpendicular line from here from here draw another perpendicular line and join this two line again after joining perpendicular line join these two now what does it becomes this is 90 degree ad is root 6 ad let me name it e so ad is root 6 de is 1 and if you do the calculation what shall i do so after this i don't have the space i'm really sorry for that i'm really really sorry but after telling sorry when i don't have the space so what shall i do is i'll just make use of this corner actually this one you have to write step by step next answer okay this after after here after this one you are supposed to write down this one but since in triangle a d e a d e use pythagoras theorem using pythagoras theorem in a d e if you use pythagoras theorem your answer will be a e a e square is equal to a d square plus d e square a d is root 6 whole square plus d e is 1 square 
root 6 square and root cancel 6 plus 1 7 so my ae square will come this side it will become root root over 7 okay so ae will become root over 7 now after you got ad as ae as root over 7 what you can do is what you can do is let me take this one and write down root over 7 here now we got the roots over 7 ae so we need to represent ae on number line we need to represent on number line so what you can do here is take ae take your compass take your compass take the pin side to a point it a another pencil side you point it to e here ae will be the radius of your compass from there you draw a curve from there you are going to draw a curve your curve may look something like this okay it may cut somewhere and you may get some point like this and after drawing the curve from e ae taking ae as the radius of compass draw straight one i cannot draw here properly let me little bit zoom and show to you you can take ae as radius of the compass radius of the compass means point that pin side you are going to put to a and another pencil side to e and draw a complete curve okay after a complete arc and that arc after arc is drawn this is the point p let's say let's say this point to be point p so point p so ap is your ap will be equal to how much will be equal to ae ap and ae are equal because it is drawn from a same radius ap and ae ae which will be equal to root 7 okay and this is drawn okay so is drawn is drawn on the number line okay so we have is represented on number line or is drawn on number line it's fine okay so i hope you understand this much yeah in case i'm little bit messy i have written down here and there much but i hope at least i could make you understand the concept that's all thank you so much we will meet in the next video